They are made with custom blends of pharmaceutical grade essential oils. Oh, I know you're looking at it those. Like that seems like an oxymoron right there. <laughs> pharmaceutical blend essential oils. Yes. Put your woo woo hats on. <laughs> well, guys. Welcome to Approved with Megan and Wendy, the podcast where we share one product every week that we're currently using and loving. We're your hosts, Megan Samarin. Wendy Nielsen. Throws me when you don't use the and. Sorry. It feels unnatural to me. And Wendy Nielsen. Okay. All right. We would love for you to come be our friends outside of the podcast on Instagram. We are at Megan and Wendy. You guys, I'm dying to hear what you're using. Please email us, Megan and Wendy at gmail.com. Even if you're thinking like it, it doesn't even have to be groundbreaking. You bought a new dish soap. You got some new, whoa, <laughs> something for your tummies. I don't Could you hear yes. how audible my stomach was? <laughs> wow. Anyhow, anything that you're using and loving, we want to know. We do want to know. Megan we- and Wendy at gmail.com. We also would love to have you join our Patreon community where we produce four extra episodes every month. Those drop on Mondays. If you were a fan of our previous podcast, Long Story Short with Megan and Wendy, those are episodes in that style. Pop Culture Club lives on over there. We check in a couple times a month with what's good. And then we do a monthly episode called This Month In. Last month's episode was This Month In Fall Shit, where we just shared all the fall (laughs) stuff we're loving. You can get a seven-day free trial at patreon.com slash Megan and Wendy. And the last thing I have to promote before we tell you the items we're using and loving is all of these items are linked in our Amazon storefront. And the best way to do that is by going to meganandwendy.com slash Amazon. And it'll take you right there. I'll leave a link in the show notes too. Yes, ma'am. Okay, you go first this week. So I debated this item, but this is an item I think you should own. And here's why I debated sharing it. It's because it's not, there's not a specific version. Like, I'm not telling you to buy this brand of this item. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, I think you need this item. And the ideal customer for this item is someone who wants to, like, give a little at-home manicure. Mm -hmm. Who's like, oh, I just need, like, a little help to make my nails look a little bit nicer. Are you looking at me specifically? No, look at my nails. tragic. Look at my nails. (laughs) Mine are so terrible. I want to be the person who has my act together and constantly has nice looking nails. Mm -hmm. I love a manicure. I love a press on nail. You do. No shame. But this item is a cuticle pusher. Mm, I need it. Do you have one? No, tell me more. So the one I have is from Amazon and I honestly think it costs $1.99 and it is one of those like fake Amazon brands as we've talked about many times before. But you can find this in the aisles at Target hanging with, like, the manicure tools. Mm -hmm. And it's just – I say steel because that's usually what they are, but I'm going to tell you about something else in a minute. And it's like a – like a looks almost like a tiny little spoon that you use to push back your cuticles. I would say like a shovel shape. Yes, Uh like a small little shovel. What it also does is it kind of, if you have any cuticle on your nail, it kind of scrapes that away. Uh Uh-huh. Wendy's making a face because that is kind of gross. No, no, no. no. Not gross. at all. Painful. The best time to use it is after a shower or wash your hands with warm water and just give your cuticle a little push. If you're thinking, I do not have time to give myself a manicure at home, or I am not good at painting my nails at home. Mm -hmm. Two things about that. Or maybe you don't ever want to paint your nails. You just want to like make your hands look nice. Mm -hmm. A little cuticle push, a little cuticle oil. Go crazy. I mean, you, I will, my two favorites, Oh, my favorite cuticle product is the Sally Hansen cuticle balm. It's like a stick balm. That was a previous approved item. And a little hand lotion. And then, Give them a tiny little file. Just smooth them out a I have, bit. like, a n- nothing to file. But you still want, like, your edges to be, like, sh- I don't want them jagged. S- yeah, yeah, of course. Just a little bit smoothed around. Just take care of them. And it will level up the experience. Now, Olive and June, which is a great nail care brand, their nail polish products are genuinely great. They've got press-on nails. They have a cuticle pusher. It is $9.99. So if you're like, I don't really want to buy some random, like, Target brand. I mean, I don't know why you would care, but if you feel like you need something a little nicer, Olive and June makes one. It's nine ninety nine. Is it pink? Yes. Yeah, I have it. I've had it. I've used it. So it has like the little shovel side on one end, and it has like a little scraper that you can kind of use like yeah. under your nail if you yeah. get gunk under your like nail. A pokey scraper. 
Like a pokey scraper. Yes. <laughs> and granted, the Olive and June pink one is much cuter than the metal ones you're going to get. But I do think this is an item you need in your life if you want to take care of your nails. Even if you never plan to paint them. Like getting rid of those cuticles makes a big difference. I think so. It's so funny that you bring this up because yesterday I was watching a Hallmark movie for our Hallmark movie review podcast, Girls Gone Hallmark. And I was like looking at my nails and they were so dry. And I was like, I'm sitting here. I'm going to go get my little nail oil. And I didn't, I don't have, I got rid of that Olive and June one for some reason. I don't remember what it was, but I don't, I didn't have anything. So I was just was like, even the oil is a bare minimum. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> I am always very embarrassed at the state of my hands. Me too. To me, if it kind of gives off the impression that I don't take care of myself. Yeah, when I have like a manicure, I'm like, oh, I got my S together. Mm-hmm. I was telling Wendy a couple of days ago, I announced to Wendy and everyone in my house that I was feeling very overwhelmed. Yes. And I, you know, I like a plan. I'm like, what am I going to do? And so one of those things, I'm like, I need to get a pedicure. <laughs> now, I, it doesn't seem like I can see like how it can kind of be laughable. Like, oh, you're out. Everything's overwhelmed. But you need a pedicure. But if my feet are crusty. I get it. It's I going to make feel, feel disgusting better. disgusting if yes. my feet and my hands look nice and I'm getting dressed every day. Yeah. And curl, you did getting, you get the pedicure? No. But, what? But <laughs> I did from, yes, this happened two days ago. Yesterday, all day, I was working and cleaning my house. Like I was from 6 a.m. till 8.30 p.m. I was busy. So I feel fine about it. But the pedicure is going to happen. You make it happen this weekend, girl. Also getting my car deep cleaned. Yeah. I'm excited about that. So something about having your nails done just makes you feel like you can take on the world. Okay. I agree. I don't like to get my nails done. I've lost the patience for getting my nails done. I can't sit there in a salon chair for an hour. It, like the thought of a pedicure even makes me kind of like, oh, I don't want to I sit just, there. I need a pedicure. It's gotten beyond what I I need at least with a pedicure though your hands are free yeah so you can look at your phone so you can look at your phone you can i bring my kindle there are things that you can do during that time Mm -hmm. but getting your nails done and having your hands trapped for that hour (laughs) the last time i had my nails done was holiday season 2022 and i it took almost two hours and i was about to it they looked great but i was gonna come out of my skin yeah i can't do it i don't have the patience i sit there and think about 800 other things i could be doing during that time i like to stay productive which is something we should revisit at some point in the future. I know. But I feel the same way. What'd you bring this week? Super random. I was easily influenced on Amazon. I got served an ad during their prime days. It was It's not their normal prime day sale, but it, they had one recently. Yes. It's called a boom, boom nasal stick. <laughs> Hear me out. Do you remember like a Vicks Vapo inhaler stick that would have like, if your nose was stuffy and it has like I've seen menthol one, yes. and camphor and you put it up in your like nasal cavity and take a deep breath. And that it, seems it, aggressive. It's not aggressive. You don't put it way up there. You really, you put it like here at the front of your nostril. And, and you breathe and clears and, your sinuses. Yes. These essentially same delivery method, but... They are made with custom blends of pharmaceutical grade essential oils. Oh, I know you're looking at those. That seems like an oxymoron right there. (laughs) Pharmaceutical blend essential oils. Put your woo woo hats on. (laughs) Well, guys, y'all, we we're pro vaccine and science. (laughs) Listen to me. Listen to me. This item did appear on Shark Tank at one time. Okay, they did not get a deal. Oh. I bought a four pack. They were twenty four ninety five. That's the current price. I think they were a lot cheaper on the Prime Day. You didn't scroll back in your. I I didn't really look. Couldn't I give don't, up. I don't. It's so funny. Bum, Some, bum. Something comes bum, bum. over me where I'm like, I need that. Click buy. It's on my doorstep in two days. Sure. You know, but the four pack I bought comes in a tropical mint, winter mint, and lavender. So like, think about like lavender at nighttime. I'm taking a deep breath, imagining it. You put that, and then you go, okay, these are the claims it makes. It helps with nasal breathing, supports elevated vibes. (laughs) (laughs) I, but look, I like the idea of the mint as like a stress reliever. Let me tell you, increases focus, 
and or helps you wind down. So the lavender fur is a wind down. But the other day I was like running around my house and then I saw them and I was like, I took the winter mint and just like shoved it in there. And I'm telling you, it gave me elevated good vibes. (laughs) I am looking it up because, okay, I, oh, they sell them at CBS, y'all. It's not some rando. I didn't think they were. I just, interesting. You they, can get like a single one at CBS. You can buy a single one. Yes. I just wanted to see their Amazon reviews. That's why I was. What are the Amazon reviews? So on the four pack, which is $25, $24.95, they have 2,500 ratings, a 4.3 star review. A game changer in the world of aromatherapy inhalers. I like this one. Not sure if they help my migraines, but the essential oils are soothing, convenient to carry in purse or pocket. Yes. Like if you struggle with like headaches, I know they don't make any claims to like get rid of headaches. But you know, sometimes like just like a a whiff of like mint can really yes make things better. I want the winter mint right I'm now. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. And the fact that it says that... It opens up sinuses and encourages nasal breathing. You know, I'm a snorer. So I'm going to try to incorporate these before I go to bed at night to see if it helps with my snoring. What's very interesting to me, oh, they sell it at Albertsons too. You can get the winter mint, Boom Boom Naturals Inhaler Nasal Winter Mint. But they also have Boom Boom Breathe which is the winter mint sinus relief. I mm. bet it's exactly the same thing. Yeah, marketing, baby. Just rebranded. It says powerful vapors to breathe better. There is a review on here that says it's essentially it's small portable Vicks vapor rub in the form of a plastic stick. Yeah. You just put it right here. This is what's funny. I've tried the lavender and my daughter has tried the winter mint and they work for about five minutes, but they don't really seem to do anything. Y'all, you're you're breathing an oil. It's not. (laughs) It's going to work for as long as you can smell it. So we're not making any claims, but I could see why one would be compelled to buy something like this. I'm telling you, the other day, running around my house, I was like, let me take a whiff of this. Good vibes. Good vibes all around. You felt centered? Yes, but I'm drawn to the winter mint and the mint ones because I I don't need to sniff in a tropical scent. I feel like tropical would be useless, but I do like lavender. But you don't like lavender. I Lavenders, it's I no, I don't love it. Yeah, I like a lavender before bed. I like the idea of like (laughs) (laughs) to turn off. I don't think that's how you're supposed to do it. Put your night guard on and get your heatless curls in, and then sniff your lavender. I need to post a photo. I'm gonna share it on Instagram. I recently got a night guard because turning 43 is nothing but sexy vibes, and the (laughs) package they sent it in has this giant sticker on it in like big bold letters says night guard (laughs) you've seen it it's very it's almost like a warning label on it anyway thanks for listening to this episode of approved we'd love to hear the random purchases you've made that are giving you the good vibes feeling email us megan and wendy at gmail.com and send us some good vibes by leaving us a five-star rating and review in the apple podcast app we'll see you next time goodbye bye